Hey, what's going on YouTube? And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a Mac running Mac OS Sierra. And we're going to use Boot Camp. So Windows will run natively on the uh, Intel based hardware. And by the way, this is the MacBook Air early 2015 model 13 inch core i5 CPU 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of hard drive storage. By the way, this should work on almost all Intel based Macs, but uh, this is specifically about the MacBook Air and yes I've tried the same method on a MacBook Pro it works no problem so if you have a MacBook Air and a MacBook Pro this should work no problem alright so the first thing we gotta do is download the Windows 10 installation files open up your web browser and hit the search bar and search for Windows 10 ISO download go to this first link which is a Microsoft website I also put this link down in the video description so you guys can directly go to this website and download the Windows 10 installation files. Select Windows 10. This is the Windows 10 Pro. Confirm. Select English as your language. Confirm again. Download the 64 bit version. And now we gotta wait. Alright guys, now you can see that the download has finished and by default it should be in the download folder. Not sure why it's not opening but if we open it in the finder app, here it is in downloads folder anyway. Now we're gonna close this and launch bootcamp. So open spotlight search and search for Bootcamp Assistant. Now Bootcamp Assistant is by default installed on all the Intel based packs. So it should be there. Click on continue. And you can see it's aut it has automatically picked up the Windows installation files. But if, if by chance if it does not pick up the uh, installation file. So just click on choose. You go to users, your username. Go to downloads and select the uh, installation disk image which is in a .iso format and just click open. Now we're going to give uh, some gigabytes to the windows partition. I'm going to be generous and give it around, you know what, I'm going to leave it at as 50-50 so 60 gigabytes for Mac OS, 60 gigabytes for the windows partition. Now I'm going to click install. Now it's asking me for the password. It's asking for my password. I'm gonna enter that and click OK. All right, guys. So this is what happened after the uh, partitioning was complete. The uh, Apple Mac uh, asked for a password, and it just restarted without. I couldn't even save the on-screen recording, so uh, I have to use the traditional method by using a camera in my hand. Anyway, I'm going to guide you through this setup and we will be installing Windows. And like I said, this is the MacBook Air. Alright, so this is the first prompt that you're going to get. You know what, I'm going to set this camera on a tripod stand so it's much easier for me to work. Much better. So. Here we are, here you can select your language, your time and currency format, I'm gonna leave it default, so click on next. I don't have a product key right now for this, I do have it but I won't be um, putting a product key right now. So, 
if you don't have a product product key click this option right here it says i don't have a product key so we can proceed install windows 10 pro x64 architecture click on next by the way windows 10 home works also but since i have a product key for windows 10 pro i'm gonna install windows 10 pro click on i accept the license terms next and this is actually important we don't need to touch anything over here we just need to install windows on this one the partition which says boot camp as you can see there are one two three four five partitions we need to install windows on the boot camp partition so without touching anything i'm going to click next and from here on out the windows installation has begun Alright folks, now the initial setup process is over and it's asking me to enter some details. No, it's asking me to configure. So uh, usually you can use the express settings but I'm going to click on customize just because I like to customize the settings. I'm going to turn off location. You can just skip all of these settings and leave it default. And most of the setup is just automated from uh, the time we... Alright, so it's asking me for a username. I'm gonna input that just now. And you can enter your name. I'm gonna enter Macbook. Because that's what this is. You can use a password or you can use a you leave it blank. No, I don't want to use Cortana as of now, serious enough. Alright, so here we are at the Windows desktop and automatically after the uh, initial setup process finishes, you'll be greeted with this setup screen which says Welcome to Bootcamp install. So yeah, we need to install Bootcamp support software even on Windows. So click next. This is necessary because yeah, as you can see, there is absolutely no sound. There is no keyboard backlight and the touchpad sucks and the webcam does not work. So to make all of those work, we need to install this program. And again, you'll get this prompt automatically. It's pretty self-explanatory. But as you can see, we are running Windows 10 on a Mac. I'm just gonna let that thing install. Alright, now you can see the driver installation has been completed successfully. Now we're going to click finish and restart the MacBook. And hopefully the uh, keyboard will also light up. And if you want to start your uh, MacBook back into the Mac OS X, all you got to do is hold the Alt Option key when you hear that startup sound very easy and here we are oh, actually it is still installing something still no keyboard backlight oh there we go 
sound is also working there is backlight in the keyboard pretty darn awesome now I can go ahead and start updating the Windows installation so thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these alright guys let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below and I'll see you next time